I wanna make this video today to show you guys where my van life journey began. That all you need at the beginning is some basics and a van. The van is the most important part of everything. That all the stuff you've ever dreamed about putting in your van will come in due time. As you have the chance to save a bit of money from not paying rent, you can afford all the luxuries that you've ever dreamed about in your van, that you don't need all that stuff to start. I lived in my van for months and months with no insulation. I lived in my van for an entire year before I even put a roof vent in it. I kept things very basic from the very beginning. And I just wanna show you guys where it all began. It was just a small grocery trip. Just picked up a few little small things. I don't wanna to buy too much at a time because I don't know what I'm gonna eat, what I'm gonna to wanna to eat. So today all I grabbed was three bananas. I don't wanna to put too much fruit in the van because fruit flies are horrible right now. And inside the cooler already, I have a couple of bags of frozen berries, which I'm gonna to have to eat in the next couple of days anyway. Got some leafy greens, some tortilla shells to make some veggie wraps out of those greens. I was gonna buy some cucumbers and stuff like that, but I still haven't bought myself a um, knife and a little cutting board for the van or anything yet, so scratch that idea. And a couple of different sauces to throw on those wraps, and that's it. Oh, and I bought some cheese sticks because, well, I wanted a damn cheese stick. The bed construction was pretty simple, and the best part about it is I didn't touch a single mechanical tool at all. I went to Home Depot in the morning with the dimensions I wanted for the top of the bed, and I knew what I needed for height on the bed, so the guys at Home Depot did all the cutting themselves, and I literally went home in my underground parking at the condo that I used to live in, and quickly put the pieces together. It was just two straight two by fours on the bottom, and then I decided what I needed for height. How I judge the height is there's certain types of storage cases that I was gonna put underneath here. So I measured the height with a little bit of an extra space, and that is how I chose the height of these center sections. Obviously, on your own build, you could choose your own heights and build it on your own. So all I did was just two simple frames, a three-quarter inch sheet of plywood on the top, and I only secured it with like, I think four or six screws on the top. I wanted to keep things simple, so if I needed to break it apart, it'd be super easy. What I did with my two mattresses I bought, I bought a four inch piece of foam for the bottom and a three inch memory foam for the top. I bought two full size ones. I got them from Costco. It was a little bit too big for the bed platform, but I stuck the foam mattresses on top. I cut the excess off from around it and boom, I got a bed. They are pretty awesome. I decided these were the cases I wanted to go with. They opened up nice and easy. The lids kind of snapped together. The reason why I chose these cases is because I use them all the time for my DJ business. They were great for hauling gear around. They were rugged and they were sleek and simple and they looked good. They weren't obnoxious, didn't have any like yellow lids or crazy colors. I like them a lot. So I chose to build my bed so these fit underneath. So let's get our storage containers put under the bed. <laughs> That's awesome. I had a day with my daughter yesterday and we went to the skate shop and picked up some pretty rad stickers and the pig was one of them. When you start van life, a lot of times you have things in your home or your apartment that you have a hard time letting go of. That's where getting a storage locker comes in and when I first started my van life, I had a locker for probably maybe the first three or four months. I don't really remember, uh, but it was literally just full of sound and lighting gear. That's all I really kept in it. And we that and uh, and my Converse. I had a lot of Converse. Of course, winter's coming and the temperatures are slowly starting to dip down. There's been a lot of discussion in my comments about insulation. And if you haven't watched some of my other videos, please go watch them. Watch them all. That would be really awesome. But you'll know that how I'm doing my van is I'm building things as I need it. And the purpose was because, you know, if I was going to build it all out, it would have taken me months to get to where I am now. And I've been doing this for over a month now because I just got in it. So, you know, let me show you the changes I've made. Because it's getting colder, I pick myself up a little heater. One of those little buddy heaters that everybody says to pick up, I mounted it to my door. Super simple. I used a little rubber bungee strap, strapped it to it, and this thing is not going anywhere. 
I even checked on the inside. So when the door is shut, it's got about a foot and a half space between the bed. And you know, I've only used it in the morning in the last couple of days because it's been a bit chilly, but that's it. I haven't used it at night. I haven't used it throughout the night because it was cold. I've been plenty warm inside the bed and there's been no need to add the heater yet. But I knew winter was coming and I figured I might as well prepare myself and at least get the heater. And it's working just great. On that same shopping trip to Amazon, is that, is that really called a shopping trip when you're online? Yeah, we're gonna call it a shopping trip anyway. I picked up some little LED lights. You kinda can't see them, but they're right there. I don't know if you've seen it, but they're a tiny, tiny little wire with little LED bulbs put on it. And I thought it might be kinda nice to actually string them all the way through the van, but instead of spending the money to buying the whole big long one, I bought a short little section just to kind of see if I like it first because, well, it's better to spend three bucks instead of spending 30, right? So check these things out. They look not too bad. Um, they're hard to see on here because I'm sure the phone makes them look a little weird. Yep. But that was my plan here. So at night, you know, when the van doors are open, it's kind of got a cool look to it. There's been a lot of people out there uh, watching this channel and commenting on my videos that don't get my process. So whether you're the kind of person who gets my process, who understands what I'm doing or who I am as a person about trying to express getting in it before you build it, well, look at these lighting options. I had some amazing ideas before I wanted to build my van and all the stuff I wanted for lighting and you know, it all required building electrical. And being in my van so far, well, you can tell, my lighting options have been solved by a couple of AA batteries. The next piece of awesomeness I picked up was this little folding table right here. Because I was sitting in the van at the park one day, and normally I was using my dresser that's right there as a table, but you know, it was a weird height and it wasn't really functional because I needed some table space. So I picked this beauty up from Walmart for like $34. Now my plan with that was, is when I'm sitting on my bed, now I have a desk to sit and edit my videos on and or have dinner. But I did leave the back door open. This here was a very memorable moment at the beginning of my van life because this is where I realized those pictures that you've seen on Instagram, that this is real, that you can actually find these moments. And there's our little disco bear. I miss that guy. I'm just sitting here enjoying the sound of the waves crashing against the shore, having an incredible afternoon, enjoying a beverage, and just completely thinking about everything that has happened to me in my life in the last couple of weeks. Then all of a sudden, it clicked. Have you ever been on vacation, on a long two week vacation in somewhere tropical? And all of a sudden, on the very last day before you have to travel home, you finally, for the first time on the whole vacation, feel at total peace, completely calm, just like you've always wanted your vacation to feel, but you felt that on your last day and you never wanted to leave. This vacation is not over, because this is not a vacation. Today I realized that this is my life. When you buy a van at a very high interest loan like I did with this one, I ended up paying like twice the value of the van by the time that loan was paid off. But it gave me the life I have here today. I may have paid like 20% more than I originally should have for the van, but it also gave me everything that I have in my world today. This van changed my life. And this moment right here, yeah, that one showed me that everything I seen on Instagram was not a lie. That this is real. DJ gear and stuff for the weekend is all picked up. Now I'm just heading over to my friend Nikki's place to grab my car to the underground. I'm hoping to sell that damn thing this weekend. Man, that would be like just a huge stress relief. Nikki, I love you and thank you. Now let's hope we can get rid of this damn car this weekend. I just sold my car. Daddy sold the car, buddy. Oh, he sold the car. He's like, let me go. So damn excited. You see that smile on my face? And you see my van? I'm smiling just as much today as I was back then when my van was bare and empty. It was basic. There was no holes cut in it yet, no roof vent, no big electrical system, no nothing. All my electricity was powered by AA batteries 
and I had a cooler, plastic cabinets, and I used to hang my clothes on the wall. I took it apart. <laughs> And things are kind of back to the basics like they were when I first started. We've got my wall cabinets together instead of separated. Everything's just bungee strapped to the wall. I did it like this today because I really have the van build on my mind and having things maneuverable is super convenient for planning a layout. So if I ever want to go somewhere and just throw everything outside of my van and you know have a look at the bare empty van, I can. And I'm gonna take the time to build this very meticulously. Like, I'm only gonna build small pieces at a time. One, because I don't wanna spend the money to do a major build. So I'm gonna start with just like one piece at a time. Once I get this done, I'm gonna move on to the next one. Yeah, so it's affordable, simple, cheap, and to show you guys that you don't have to gut your van and do a monster build, that you can do it bit by bit as money allows you to do it. So. It's a wild one for me to look back. To look back and think that I looked at that insulation in my van for probably better part of a year, six months, before we did any walls in the van. And I was proud of my van when it looked just like this. So here's what happened. I started to insulate the roof like I said I was going to, and I put one layer up of three quarter inch foam with the shiny side down, simply just cut it to pieces glued it up in there done deal i wasn't going to film it all because there's so many videos on how to do it and it's just a matter of just stuffing it in the holes it's not rocket science i had originally intended on putting a second layer up to fully insulate the roof because i think the roof is one important for noise especially for me doing voice work and for two it's going to be your prime insulation piece you must do in your van because all your heat is just going to get lost to the roof so that was the only thing that i really technically wanted to do this round with all those extra little pieces i had i started cutting them up and putting them in all of the little tiny little squares all the way around the van and i had enough to do the entire thing okay taking a closer look at it there's just the little pieces in here where there's actually sheet metal this is still a bit of a ribbing piece it's still away from the actual sheet metal on the outside so i technically just took the extra pieces and i glued it right up against the sheet metal itself because that was the point where it actually could feel cold touching any of this stuff here where the ribbing is even on the thinner parts of the ribbing there's still no condensation on it because the condensation is building on those pieces right there just like it was on the roof it was actually right on the bare sheet metal itself not on any of the ribbing. I've been a little crafty today. I built myself a wall unit. Just makeshift, nothing fancy, no big huge craftsmanship. But you know what? It's done the job, it was cheap, it was affordable. I picked up all of the supplies, pretty much most of it on Craigslist, <laughs> yes. And a few pieces of wood from Home Depot and some paint from Home Depot, but let's go check it out. You see that sense of pride on my face? Super proud of this little fort I made inside of my van. Plastic cabinets, visible insulation on the walls, and some lights run off batteries. Man, I love this thing. But I'm really today gonna pull things out of the van. I don't want my bed this way because climbing out of the bed sideways is easy, it's comfortable. You know, it's nice to get in, nice to get out. It's, you know, putting it lengthwise, I'm gonna have to either shimmy myself out the opposite way or shimmy myself at the bottom of the bed, and I'm not really down for that. Besides, I use part of my bed as a seat, so when I'm doing editing work, I end up using a good half my bed to sit down on and put my tabletop in front of me, so running it lengthwise, I'm gonna lose a lot of that, especially if Disco wants to get up on the bed while I'm editing, that's gonna be an issue. So, I like it this way. I don't know what I'm doing. Ow. Bike under the bed, waste of space. Ow.
this is all the bed frame is made of. Super easy. I feel about this I don't know I'm definitely gonna have if I keep it this way I'm gonna have to redo all the bracing on the bottom because I need to be able to get I mean don't get me wrong I'll reuse parts of these but I need to get boxes underneath I don't know how I feel this is where I think about building my van out and organizing things so this stuff has a home so I don't have to see this ruckus like the back foot and a half or two feet of my van is literally just a jungle of stuff that I need maybe I should start maybe I should start doing a partial build like maybe build the back out and then slowly work my way into the front space because my bed is already built that side of it's done That might be a really good idea, actually. You know, I'll start designing something and see if I can come up with something that that works to put a bit more function to this chaos, because... <laughs> Hi, buddy. You remember me? You remember me? You were a little guy last time I saw you. You were a little guy. Hi. That's my buddy Terrence. <laughs> and this is where the van you guys see today started to take shape. This was about a year into my van life, maybe nine months or so, when we decided to rip everything out and put walls in there to cover up from seeing all the insulation. Uh, a part that you guys didn't see here is I ended up buying furniture cabinets that you see there, replacing all of my plastic ones with just some furniture that we L bracketed to the floor from a furniture store. So another thing we're gonna do is, so underneath the van here I had a, uh, moisture underneath it and I noticed the other week when I pulled out my side piece I pulled it up and I it was kind of wet underneath here and I thought it was actually like holes but whoever had the van before me I ended up putting Bondo over all the screw holes turns out the moisture was only down this channel making Disco the culprit because I'm guessing the water went in underneath this side and all the way back did you make my floor wet? Did you do it? Before we start putting stuff in here, I'll show you guys what I did. On the side where the windows would have been in the van, I just covered it in the pink foam board. And underneath that pink foam board is another layer of the half inch foam I put on my roof. So it was good because it covered the bare metal and that's where you're gonna get your condensation from, at least what I figure out anyway. <laughs> And along the side there and all the major cavity pieces, I just stuffed in pink foam insulation and put the reflectix over it because I didn't like the look of it. And it worked. Like, I mean, I'm guessing where your climate is is going to depend on what you need. If you're in freezing ass cold weather, I would probably insulate. And uh, the roof of the van was just two half inch layers. And I'm just going to sit here and I'm probably going to crack a beer and watch Terrence work. <laughs> look at these panels. These things are so awesome. I think they're gonna look wicked in the van. Agreed. Huh? Agreed. Hey, sir. What's up, man? Cheers to being my first friend in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Wow, something as simple as like a $40 board. Yeah, man, it looks so good. I'd like to say we, but Terrence got one, one wall up. <laughs> no, we got one wall up. <laughs> and uh, what we're doing for the other wall is just making some templates because we got some weird corners and stuff here to go around. So what I did here is just kind of cut a template. So when he cuts the board, 
it'll fit nicely in around that plastic piece. And well, if it's messed up, it's probably gonna be my fault, but it looks pretty good. Terrence, thank you, man. You are welcome. I hope you guys enjoyed watching where my journey began. The reason why I wanted to make this video is I don't wanna be the person that discourages anybody from starting this lifestyle. I don't want people to get on board of my channel and take a look at, at my van build and all the things that I've added to my van from my rims to all the fancy things on my roof rack to the, my big light bar and my perimeter lights and this incredible van build I have inside of my van. I don't want people to jump on my channel and go, whoa, if that's van life, I can't afford it. So that's why I wanted to share this video with you guys, showing you all my earlier videos, some clips and snippets of things that I think might help you guys realize that you can start this journey. All you need is a van that with some hard work, dedication, paying off your debt and grinding forward every single day that you can convert your basic simple van you started out with into a home like I have today. Not everybody needs great big fancy things and nice pretty little little windows over here that they can see out in the nice neighborhoods that they're in. I know not everybody needs these things, but with time in van life and saving money and not paying rent, you can afford to build the van home of your dreams like I did. So please don't get discouraged when you watch my channel or some other YouTube channels out there that are driving around in big expensive rigs. So many people are like, oh, this person came from a rich family. You don't know people's stories until you've actually stuck around and taken a look back. So I encourage you guys, if you want to see my journey from the very beginning, I have a playlist called Binge Watch It All. There is, a, what, I don't know, a thousand fifty videos or a thousand sixty videos on my channel at this point. Uh, it'll probably take you a while, but you'll definitely catch up with my journey all the way up to where we're traveling right here today. Hopefully this video inspired some people to know that you don't need fancy things in order to enjoy van life. The same smile that's on my face today in this big professional van build was the same smile that I had when I very first started and I had plastic cabinets. Thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. I do worry about that sometimes with you guys. I don't want to lose that connection with you. I don't want you guys to forget where we came from. We came from hard times. That's why I enjoy everything that I have in my life today. Because when you work hard and you earn something, it always just feels better when you have it. All right, guys, stay positive, be beautiful, and never stop being weird. And I'll see you all, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. Peace out.